In this tutorial you will create a fancy door and then when I stand in front of it I hit E on my keyboard and the door opens up and I press E again, the door closes. So this way we can open and close and interact with our objects and doors in our world. First we will need an input action on the keyboard. So for me it is in this place, in actions and I'm going to right click and under input let's create a new input action, IA and let's name this interact. Then let's go here and let's create a new mapping for this. Find interact and let's assign this to the E on our keyboard. Then hit save. Okay, let's make these changes in our character. So for me it's the third person but any character that you're playing with. Go to the event graph and look for some room. Then we can find that interact that we just created and from started we drag out the node. The one we are going to use is Fierce Trace by Channel. This is the one we are going to use. And let's make some room. Now when I go to my viewport, and then you can see the camera is behind our player, but the camera boom is right here in our player. So it will ray cast, and if it hits the door, then we'll be able to open that door. So drag out the camera boom, and from here, drag off, get world location because this will be the starting point for where we are looking for. Let's make some room here. Now the end point, let's say we want it three meters from us. So what you're going to do first is see in which direction we have to look. So get a world rotation for that one. Then we need to look forward. So get a forward factor of this one. And then we are going to multiply this on this pin, so aim on this one, right click, convert pin to a float. So 3 meters, 300 centimeters in Unreal measures. So at first we are in here, now we are 3, uh, three meters in front of us. And let's add this to our start location. So control click. Okay, and let's add this to our start location. This is the end point. The radius, I like radius of 1 meter, so 100. And um, let's draw a debug type for duration. For a duration of, well, let's say three seconds is fine. LSS is out already. So now when I hit E on my keyboard, I can see this. Whatever collides with this, I will check if it is a door. And if it's a door, it will open. So now you can see it collides with something. So that's the green one. Okay, good. This is what we want. Now I set this back to none. This will still cast that sphere by channel. But when I press E, I no longer see it, but it's still in the world because my player doesn't need to see uh, our coding logic. Okay, compile, save. Then in the content drawer, we will create a new folder, right click, new folder, and let's name this folder data. Open this one up, then right click, blueprints, and we will create a blueprint interface. So BPI underscore interact, which we'll put on our door, but we can put this onto anything we want to interact with. Let's give us also PPI interact or a name that you would like. Compile save this is all we need to do here. And also in this map, right click, blueprints, and let's choose an enumeration. So enum underscore status for the status of our door. We're going to add two. First, our door will be closed and then our door will be opened. So this will be the two states. This is the data that we need for this to work. Okay, now let's create the door. So for this, create a new empty blueprint class. It's an actor. Let's name this the BP underscore door. Hit save. Okay, let's add one. So a static mesh for this. Let's name this to door. Now, this is the place where you add your door model. So uh, for me, I will add a cube. And let's scale this cube a bit. So it will represent the door or uh, you can just add a cube like this. So this will represent just our door and let's drag this one in the level. Okay, and let's scale it up a bit here. Okay, this, this should be fine. Well, it's just for prototyping. Anyway, so now in the event graph, we go to class settings and here you see interfaces. And under Implement Interfaces, let's look for our BPI Interact. And then you can see here on the left side on Interfaces, 
this one is here. So whenever we receive a message from our player, we can put logic here. So what we are going to do then is create a variable. And this will be the enum, the enumeration of the status. And here, under the type, let's also look for enum status. And here it is. And compile. Let's drag this into here. So get it. And then switch. Switch on which status we do. Okay. The first time we interact with this, the door is closed. And then alt drag. And if it is closed and we uh, interact with it, we need to open this. Ctrl D to duplicate. When the door is open and we interact with it, we want it back to closed. Now right click and let's create a timeline in which the door will open. Open door. And when we want this to open, when we need to close it, it needs to reverse. Double click on this, create track, add a flow track. Open door. Well, let's say it, we want it to take one second. So shift click two times to create these two dots. The first one will have a time of zero value zero. And then after one second, I want a value of, let's say, minus 90. I'm going to show you why. So compile save. Let's look in the viewport. So um, let's say you want to rotate this. Minus 90. That is away from us. So this is the way the door opens. And zero is here. Or you can also see, see what happens. Minus 90 is an open door. I have a pretty fat door, but oh well. <laughs> Later on, you can replace this with your model of your own, of course. Okay, now we grab the door. And we need to set the relative rotation of that door. We will update over time that we created a timeline. And it was in the Z axis. So right click, split structure tin, pin, and door will be opened in that Z axis. Compile save. Right now, it won't do anything because the door is listening for the uh, event here. So, what you're going to do here. Uh, is back into our third person character or the player that you have. From out hit, drag off, and then break hit results. Open this fancy boy up, and from hit actor, we need to see if it has um, the BPI interact message. And then connect this up. So, if it is an actor listening to this message, then this logic will continue. So, compile everything. It is saved. This should all be fine. And let's test this out. So now I'm not in the door. I pressed E, nothing happened. And now here. And the door opens like this. Well, I have need to be from this side or I uh, need to rotate the door in my level, of course. But uh, look what happens if I spam E on my keyboard. Sometimes it bugs out. Now it doesn't. Now, if your door uh, does bug out, what you can do then is D click add in a delay node. And uh, it was one second. So let's add 1.1 to this. Um, to this ending of our code right here from our door and then it will run the code and after 1.1 seconds only then can we by the way this this door is, uh, is bugging me so uh so let's rotate this like this okay and now you can see like this and this is how you can uh use interact state like an e on your keyboard and then open doors this will work for any object that you uh, have this interface implemented to and have something similar like this setup. Hope that helped. Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your projects, and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course, The Unreal Vault, where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create dragon fights with different attacks, including fire breathing. So if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.